before Ubisoft made smash hits with multi-million dollar budgets, they were a smaller and simpler company. Most of the games they made were by no means masterpieces at one point. Such as today's game, Conflict Zone. It's a fairly good strategy game that focuses on base building and unleashing sudden heavy attacks to wipe out your opponents. The only issue is that the Sega Dreamcast hardware can hardly handle the stress of destroying your enemies by bombing them and then sending in 50 tanks or so at once. It's a pretty chaotic game at times, but it's usually very calm. Like many real-time strategy games, Conflict Zone uses the map system of if your troops can't see it, neither can the satellite for some reason. This allows for ambushes to occur all of the time, so you have to watch every soldier's movements. More so in the campaign than the skirmish mode. The campaign mode is quite a bit harder in every way. You have to plan out your every move on some of the stealthier missions. Others, you aren't even allowed to produce certain units to make it even more challenging. Though it doesn't focus on it, the game does have some resource managing. The main resources are money, popularity, and electricity. You steadily gain funds as time goes on, and you need funding to do pretty much anything. Popularity is awarded by the media when you save civilians from nearby villages. I always found it strange that the villages only have generally about five houses, but the refugee supply is seemingly unlimited. Also, you gain extra money when saving villagers, so it's an important factor in helping make units. In many cases, you have to have a certain amount of popularity to create certain vehicles, buildings, etc. And what do you need to keep the buildings running? Electricity. If your electricity level goes below 100%, you have to build more generators. If you don't, your gun turrets and artillery cannot function at all. Balancing these three things and using military strategy to deal with the threat quickly is basically the core of this game. An interesting thing I noticed about the game was the on-screen controller map. Without that, I would probably be very lost, as holding the triggers down brings up an entire different set of actions. The overall presentation of this game is pretty average with nothing really worth noting other than the frame rate dropped from earlier. I think that Conflict Zone is a pretty average strategy game, so I give it a 6 out of 10. You can usually buy it for under $10 from most stores that sell used games. And we're entrusting their command to you, General. I know that you're familiar with the ICP's role. All the same, I'd like to remind you that we're going over there not only to make war, but also to restore peace. So yours is a double mission. 